Hey folks, good morning. Uncle Harley here, along with Chris Souders. We're out on the Ohio River at a secret location. <laughs> Chris, as you may or may not know, the 2016 Cabela's Catfish Angler of the Century of the Year. Angler of the Year. Angler, Angler of the Year. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. Um, we're going to go after some cats down here. I've never been in this part of the country. Chris tells me it's good. Good, blue, good, uh, good blue cat. Blue cat. Uh, Chris has been working the net here. He's got a mighty fine boat. You'll, you'll see more of that throughout the day. But uh, we've got ourselves a beautiful morning. It's uh, mid-October. Yep. It's chilly. It's chilly. It's, but, you know, that's that's fishing. Yeah, you full can, moon. You know, yeah, there is. Uh, I can't see it now, but, uh, I mean, you can look in the background there and look what a beautiful morning we're up against. So, uh, stay tuned. It should be interesting. Let's hope. Chris is up on the front of the boat right now trying to get into a uh, skipjack or something and as you can see out across through there's a lot of activity on the river this morning and um, I personally I'm I'm kind of a newbie to the catfishing sport I haven't I haven't gone at it. I've just graduated from uh, chicken livers up to cut bait and stuff here in the, in the last couple of years but it's interesting hanging out with Chris because Chris uh, he catches fish and you know, you've, you've got to if you're in the Cabela's tournaments and you want to do that and everything. So, um, Chris, one, one of the things that's impressed me most is Chris is a huge proponent of super fresh bait. You got to have fresh bait. You do. So if you ain't got fresh bait, you ain't, you ain't catching good fish. So we've already put some uh, shad in the boat here. And Chris is over there messing around trying to get a, a skipjack. Another great cut bait too, so uh, keep those things in mind. If you want to get into big fish and fish that bite, they like the fresh stuff because you know the the river's loaded with fresh bait. That's what these fish eat. Um, occasional tree bass there. <laughs> <laughs> you got to catch a tree. Every sure you do. I mean that's that's just part of it. So maybe we'll maybe we'll get into the skipjack here. Look like a big old bass just rolled over there. And <laughs> another tree. <laughs> Two in a row. <laughs> I'm making this good. <laughs> oh, that, there it comes. There you go. <laughs> I'm about to lose my fully spoon. Uh, I was going to turn off the camera for a second, but I'm going for the, the trifecta here. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I lost my spoon. Oh, daggone. That happens. Okay. So, stay tuned. <laughs> right now, Chris is in the back of the boat. He doesn't know I'm filming. He's going to take me out and probably show me his best spots on the river today. So, this may be the last video I ever make. So, if he tosses me in the river, hopefully this footage will make it back to land. Okay, we got a 40-pound main line. Got a uh, three-way swivel. Just uh, the two ball bearing swivels put together. Yeah. A uh, Just a little bass clip to take your weight on and off with. Mm -hmm. uh, four ounce, about 20 inches long dragon tail. Coming down to another 40 pound liter, a uh, little peg float. Like a little hybrid Santee Cooper yeah, on the a, end. Just a modified Santee Cooper rig with a ADOT Diachi. <sighs> and uh, it's a no knot snail. No knot snail? Yeah. That's one I'm not familiar with, so maybe later on we'll uh, take a look at it. We break one off and have to put one back on, okay? Yeah. And, uh, you know, two foot, well, no, it's uh, not three foot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, that can be varied, and that changes throughout the day. I mean, you got to, you know, feel for what the fish want. You know, if we start seeing fish up higher, you know, we'll leave it long, leave the floats on it. If they're not, if they're buried in the mud, you know, we'll take the floats off, shorten them up. Okay. Um, just got to get a feel for what they want and, you know, how they want it, how fast. But that is the my version of a modified Santee Cooper Larry Muse Dragon Rig. All right. And... Uh, Hopefully be able to show some fish with it here for a long. Get him out there and get him started. Oh, that's a fair little fish. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, he is. Oh, oh he's picked up power on my cat. Maybe a little bit more. You got the camera on? Yep. He's running, buddy. Yeah, he's right behind you. He's pulling. Good one side or the other. That lucky pole I was telling you about. <laughs> lucky pole. Lucky pole, Bubba. Oh, that's 
a little blue. I think he knows he's caught now. There he is. Yeah, that's a nice little fish, 10 pounder or so. Big old. Mr. Blue in the boat. Is that blue? That's a big old channel. That's a big old main channel. Wow. Nice channel. Yeah. Toss him back in. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Nice little channel. Yeah. Is that a real one? Now he knows it's on, don't he? Came a little more real, didn't he? He's got a deep voice, don't he? Yeah. Brr. Yeah, there you go. Right in the mouth. Caught him on that dragon tail, didn't we? Knuckles by the time he hits the water. <laughs> yeah, just, you got him? Back here, yep. There you go. Fight another day, buddy. We'll get straightened up here. <laughs> There's always a house cleaning after a fish like that in there. Yeah. Now we're fishing. Two fish in 20 minutes? Yeah. They were on to something. Back with more fish later. What are you doing, Chris? <laughs> Trying to catch another fish. <laughs> another big old channel. Beast another. of a channel. Yeah, that's a channel. Wow. They grow channel cats big around here. Well, we floated for two hours. Shoo. Didn't, didn't get a touch. Yeah. And uh, now here in about the last 20 minutes, we put three on the deck. So we might be, we might be fishing. Hey, hey, right here. Oh, we got another one on. Get him, get him. Okay, Bo. He's still on there. Is it? Yep. yep. Yeah, he is. Let that fish, no, he came off. Did he come off? Yep, he turned loose. He did doing the same thing I did a little while ago. We might be in the fish here. <laughs> Channel cat. Mm -hmm. Get like a bomb, didn't he? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 
just a little one, Chris says. I don't know if I can get the camera around her or not. See, whenever you're a pro fisherman like Chris, just a little one. If, it, if it's not pulling him in, oh, it's just a little one. <laughs>